Hi, I'm Deverly Baldwin in my garden and I'm so excited. I just got some mangaves from Walter's Gardens, a grower in Zealand, Michigan. And these are all mangave hybrids that uh, the hybridizer breeder Hans Hansen has been working on. Some of these the public has never seen before. And I'm so privileged because they sent them to me to trial here in my garden in Southern California. Let's open this box. They are succulents. They are intergeneric crosses of Mangave and Manfreda. And they're gonna be the coming thing. You heard it here first. They're gonna be the it plant of the 2020s. Hello in there, guys. Are you okay? They've had an arduous dirt journey from Michigan. Oh, great. Packing peanuts. Well, I guess that's important. I wonder if these are cornstarch. You know how you can tell? Is if you lick them, they dissolve. I can't tell. Okay. So much for eating the packing material. Come here, sweet plants. Oh, look at these babies. This is Mangave Desert Dawn. All right. Stiff leaved little rascal. It's taking its big gulp of air after being in that plastic bag. You know what I'm liking about these? That I found sort of disconcerting uh, two years ago when I got my first shipment of my mangaves was that back then a lot of them were very pokey because of their agave heritage. <clears throat> and these I'm finding I can reach into the box and I'm not getting the agave type teeth and poking that I got before. What are you? Mangave Navajo Princess. Oh, don't you just want to kiss it? Oh, that's just so thrilling. All right, Navajo Princess, welcome to my garden. You're gonna love it here. Okay, more packing peanuts. This, this is, I mean, I know you're looking at it and you're thinking, okay, Deborah, what's the big deal? This is a new genus. Yes, a new genus that you have never heard of before. It's called Hansera. Oops, my finger's covering it. The name was given to it by Plant Delights Nursery uh, because breeder Hans Hansen did a trigenetic cross of Mangave Manfreda, and a third lily-like genus I'm not familiar with. But I will have more information for you on my website, DebraLeeBaldwin.com, and as I continue to research and investigate mangaves. So, a hand Sarah! Ah! Oh! Named after Hans. Okay. Hi there, baby. <clears throat> Get some air. See what I love about these is they have like these hidden colors. I don't know if you can see that, but down in the crown of the plant, it's more red. And I'm not gonna read all the tags, that'll come later. But this is Mangabe Thunderbird. Welcome to my garden. It looks like it has a little bit of uh, Lophantha in it, doesn't it? Okay, you sit back there. <clears throat> We're almost there. There's some big ones left. Some big, beautiful, gorgeous plants still in here. Ooh, do you see the agave parentage in this one? This looks like Gypsophila to me. Look at the curved leaves, the, those soft teeth. And of course, how can you tell it's a mangave? Because of the freckles. Oh, 
I have freckles too. You lovely thing. Okay. Get near. Oh, 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 bigger and better and more beautiful. Oh, those colors. Look at that. The red freckles and blotches. And you know, in my garden here in Southern California, I've discovered this with other mangaves, they redden even more. They get a little stressed because they don't like our hot summers. And this is Inca Warrior. I wonder how big it gets. I'll do the research. I'll have everything on my site. And we can follow along. Okay, Inca Warrior. And who else is in here? There's a big one down in there. Hello. Okay, this is interesting. This is called Mangave Dreadlocks. So why is it called that? And remember, these are cultivar names. And sometimes they can be kind of hard to remember because they're chosen uh, for their descriptive qualities and also for marketing purposes. And they don't really tell you a lot about the plant. But it's wavy, it's wiggly, it's freckled, and it's interesting. Welcome, Dreadlocks, to Deborah's Garden. Okay, who else is in here? I have one really big one sitting in there still. Okay, this is Freckles and Speckles. Very pretty. And these are all very dark green, which I know is going to change <clears throat> in the growing conditions I'm going to give them. Um, <clears throat> they came out of a greenhouse. Okay, one big... Oh, no, wait a minute, there's some more. Should I tease you and wait for the last, for the, for the final wow? Yeah, let's, let's do one more little one first. Mangave Aztec King. Okay, another, another dark green one with red speckles. Isn't this like Christmas? Christmas in January. All right, okay, okay. <clears throat> I teased you enough. Here we go. Look at the recurved leaves. This is Mangave Red. Uh, red Wing, I think. And a little munched from transit. They do have brittle leaves like agaves do. And sadly, a nearly sheared off leaf. But, you know, all in all, a very healthy, happy, exciting shipment. And later today, I'm going to get them settled in their new home. And I'll show you more of the mangaves from two years ago and how they're doing in my garden. I'm Deborah Lee Baldwin. And many thanks to Walters Gardens for this fabulous shipment.